Okay, in this video I'm going over how to use calculus to solve an optimization problem in economics. So I've set up in other videos this particular model, we're modeling the decision about how much time to spend studying, and our objective function is grades minus opportunity cost, what we could do with that time we're spending studying. And of course, if we're going to actually use numbers in this, we need to replace these functions with functional forms. And that's not too difficult because we know the basic shape of each of these. So the grades shape, if we have studying on the x-axis, our choice variable, and grades, our benefit on the y-axis, we know that that graph has a shape with diminishing marginal benefit that looks something like this. And we recognize that that shape looks a little bit like a square root function. So we're going to replace this with a square root function and maybe a coefficient in front of that um, just for good measure. So we're going to rewrite our maximization problem with some functional forms here. We still have our choice variable of time spent studying, but we're going to use um, 2 times the square root of s as our grades function, and that's going to be minus. Um, now we need a functional form for, uh, that's grades by the way, for opportunity cost, and we know the opportunity cost has an increasing marginal cost shape, like I've discussed in other videos, and this looks a little bit like s squared, um, so we're going to put a coefficient in front of that and let that be s squared. And so these two shapes are going to represent this particular objective function. Now, we know we're trying to optimize, so we could, um, we could actually draw out, this, we have both opportunity cost and grades on this axis, we could actually come down here to draw out our total payoff function, where pi represents the total objective function, and that's just going to be the difference between these two. We know the difference is zero at this point, and benefit minus cost is zero here. Benefit minus cost is biggest, kind of in the biggest part in the middle here, um, so we know that that's when we're going to have our optimal s, and of course we have s, our choice variable, on the x-axis. And this will be the optimal s right here, meaning um, our total payoff function gets bigger and bigger and bigger until it reaches this point, and then it gets smaller and smaller and smaller after that. So this function is going to look something like this when we graph it. Now, how do we find the exact value for s? for time spent studying that um, optimizes our objective function. Well, we want to reach this point here. And I, I, did I draw that? I might have drawn that a little bit off. Something like that. And we notice that at the very top point, the tangent there is exactly equal to zero. The slope of that tangent is equal to zero. And that will be true whenever we hit a maximum, that will be true. So if we can find a point on this graph where um, the slope of the tangent, which is tan when you hear tangent, you should be also thinking marginal, because of course um, the tangent represents marginal benefit and marginal cost. Um, this is sort of marginal payoff. Um, down here, marginal total payoff and you want that to equal zero. Now that's not going to be enough information because um, if we had a function that looked like this, then the tan slope of the tangent at, at this point is also equal to zero and that's definitely not a maximum. So actually, um, a slope of zero is gonna tell us either we're at a maximum or we're at a minimum, one or the other. So we're gonna need another condition besides just the first order condition that will help us figure out which of those two it is. But the first step is really to find at what point along this graph, at what value for time spent studying, do we get a tangent of zero? Now, how do we find the slope of the tangent? Well, we take a derivative. That's all we have to do is take the first derivative with respect to s of the function, and that's going to be our first order condition, which is usually just FOC in economics, means first order condition, but I'll write it out for you. And our first order condition just says the derivative of the payoff function, our entire objective function, with respect to our choice variable, in this case time spent studying, is equal to zero. That's the first order condition. If we can find the value for s where this is true, then we have a candidate for a maximum. So, um, so let's actually write out the derivative of the payoff function 
with respect to our choice variable, dot dot, I'm going to write that. And here we just take a derivative in the same way we always do. We've got 2, our coefficient, and sometimes it does help to, um, instead of the square root, you can write this as to the power of 0 0.5, that's the same as a square root, so we have a coefficient here that we bring down, and then s to the power of, well, we subtract 1 from that, so that's going to give us negative 0 0.5 minus, then we've got a coefficient here, and then take that, take that power down. So I've just taken the derivative of this and I've set it equal to zero. So we have one equation and one unknown, which is s. If we solve this equation for s, that's going to give us a candidate for what might be an optimum if it's not a minimum. So let's, let's solve this equation for s, and that's just using algebra. Um, it's, the algebra is, uses a few tricks, so I'm going to do that really fast on the board. One thing I forgot to mention, so all I've done so far is I've just um, taken this to that side and simplified, and this I've simplified. So with this equation right here, this equation is actually giving us our golden rule in economics. So we have marginal benefit, it's just the derivative of the benefit function is given by this, which I've simplified, um, equals taking this to the other side the derivative of the cost side of our function. Here's the derivative, here's the cost. This is the derivative of the cost, and this is just taking it over to the other side since it equals zero and simplifying a little bit. So marginal benefit equals marginal cost. That pops right out of our first order condition, and that's going to tell us that the slope of the tangent of the benefit, this is marginal benefit, is equal to the slope of the tangent of the cost, marginal cost. That pops out of us taking our first order condition. So let me continue with the algebra now. Alright, um, okay, so I've done the algebra and it turns out that studying 2.924, or roughly three hours a day, is the optimal amount of time to spend studying based on this equation. So I can label this, it's equal to, two, well, yeah, 2.92. Um, that's the optimal time spent studying according to this algebra. Now, that's our first order condition. We need to take our second order condition to make sure this is a maximum rather than a minimum. And we notice that when it's a maximum, this shape of this graph is concave, you know, shaped a little bit like a, ca a cave. When it's a minimum, it's convex, shaped a little bit like a bowl. And so it's going to be concave when the second derivative is negative. And we want the second derivative to be negative since we're trying to find a max. If the second derivative were positive, we would find a min. So we just need to take the second derivative of this, and that's not too hard because we've already taken the first derivative. And so we can simply take the derivative of this to get to test whether our second order condition holds. Um, so let me write the second order condition up there, and then I'll, and then I'll actually do the math. Okay, so um, the second order condition is just the der second derivative of the objective function. When that's negative, when it's less than zero, then we have found a max, not a min. So if that holds, we're good. If it's positive, we've found a minimum. So I've simplified, this is our first order condition, so this is the first derivative of the payoff function. So our second derivative is just us taking the derivative of this to see if it's negative, and I've sort of run out of space, but let me do that. Um, let me erase this and do that. This is our second derivative. Now the question is, is that negative or positive, or do we not know? Um, and of course this is, when we plug in this value for s, it's going to be negative. We simply plug that value in and we will find that's going to be negative, that tells us we've indeed found a maximum. So that's our first order condition, our second order condition, and that's us using calculus to find the exact value 
for the optimal time spent studying. And I think that's it.